how the NYPD tracked a Cho gangster who shot a three year old. And that Wu and Cho shit is crazy. They had a motherfucker that got hit. Like, I think it was a Wu member that hit a Cho member, and then a Cho member got up immediately and then started shooting out the Wu member's car. And then a Wu member just went all the way to Manhattan and started buying a Mary Jeans. Like, what the fuck? And there's another instance with the three year old that they're about to talk about. Shit crazy, In bro. Brooklyn, New York City, members of the Wu gang have been mercilessly hunting their rivals for years, oh, yeah. with gang leadership enacting a shoot on sight oh, policy. Hold up. Rivals for years, with gang leadership enacting a shoot on sight When we see the ops engage, it's been a month and we ain't stopped booming since. I love you, little bro. The violence has been targeted primarily against the rival Cho gang. Which they believed was in part responsible for the death of Wu member Sh Shamel Boomer. The group started the Booming for Boomer movement, which resulted in many shootings across the city. The Cho gang had been desperate to retaliate and struck back. A live stream from Cho gang member source Brooklyn DA's office. Where he began is also Roe Blake. Damn, he was named in that. Against the Wu's in numerous acts of violence. What the GDs? Nah. So this. 10, 11 people in this motherfucker, and one of them is screen recording, and they some the Brooklyn DA's office somehow got it. And the Cho's, and the Joe's, Joe. <laughs> this is the ops right here for all my fans, for all my fans. This is this is the ops. This is where, this is where, on B and them is from the ops. They right across the street. On March 25th, 20... Bro, I need y'all to lock in, bro. What the fuck? Why are they on Instagram live doing this? 22. Two alleged members of the oh. Cho gang did something truly horrific. At 6 p.m. Friday on Riverdale Avenue near Amboy Street in the Brownsville section of Brooklyn, a man, who was not alleged to be in any gang or have any involvement with the perpetrators, was putting a baby into the backseat of his car. He had just picked her up from a daycare that was located in the area. The Brooklyn DA's office detailed what is alleged to have happened next. Alleged Cho member, Dalik Habersham, also known as Dalik EBK, arrived in the area in a BMW driven by fellow Cho member Princess Chambers. Surveillance video shows him stepping out of the car and walking towards the man with his baby, who, again, was just a random civilian. Dolly Habersham believed that the man was actually one of his rivals. Hey, come he... on, locked in, man. What the fuck? Use them both hands, aiming that bitch down. And you probably like, we say it's like 10 yards, 10, 15 yards. Like, come on, bro. There's like a significant amount of room here. Lock... Bro, or just wait. Like, you could just like, bro. You still shouldn't be like shooting people that you don't even know. But it's like, bro. He got. He's. Uh, you've seen him put the put the baby in the car. The baby's right there, bro. Like the baby's his his baby's closer than his baby, and he's like locked in. Like he had the ski mask up. He locked in on this, and I don't know how the fuck he missed. Pulled out a gun and attempted to massacre him. Surveillance video shows him shooting repeatedly oh. at the man, and while he missed him, one of his bullets hit a three-year-old girl who was walking with her mother how? out of the same. How the fuck, bro? Like, yo, bro, just play the bench, man. Just be the driver. Same daycare. Like, it's not, the shooting enough for you, bro. Habersham then ran to the BMW driven by Princess Chambers, which was already driving away without him. Oh, he shit. He jumped in and the two sped off. Detectives oh, no. combed through surveillance photos and identified who they believed was the suspect. How the fuck they did it? Because the way they caught him is crazy. This is crazy. This dumbass posted the fit on fucking Instagram. Posted his shoes on Instagram. Like, bro, this is crazy, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. They also executed court-authorized searches on his social media. The day after the shooting, 
Habersham sent a DM to a private Instagram messaging group with other Cho members, sharing a link to a news article about the shooting, and yeah. apparently jokingly saying that he quote unquote did bad. No fucking shit, you did bad. And then you did even worse by fucking posting it on Instagram and sending it to, to the private Instagram shit. Motherfucker is stupid, bro. Oh my god, bro. A three year old? Like, bro. Like, how the fuck do. Yo, bro. I'm... To a private Instagram messaging group with other Cho members. Sharing a link to a news article about the shooting, and apparently Westbrook, jokingly bro. saying that he quote unquote Come did bad. Bench next time. This fuck, man. Three year old. Shit, crazy. After reviewing further evidence and solidifying their case, the NYPD brought down the hammer and took Dolly Habersham and Princess Chambers into custody. It took seven months to make an arrest, as NYPD officials were furious that nobody in the community was willing to help identify the perpetrator. The police cannot do it alone. We need the help from the community. You know who's out here carrying guns. You know who's out here shooting. And you know who's out here. You know who shot this child tonight. Step up and help us. Habersham and his confederate were arrested as part of a larger indictment against both the Wu and Cho gang, spearheaded by the NYPD's Gun Violence Suppression Division. The Gun Violence Suppression Division, which also played a crucial role in the Drilly Gang indictment in the Bronx, believes that its very precise arrests and removal of guns from the streets uh, child survived, will luckily. put a dent in overall crime rates in the city. However, some believe that the city is not doing enough. Take the guns off the street and end the, the fuck is on the ground? Guns. That's Kool-Aid, right? It's the assholes who use the- That's Only Kool -Aid. time will tell. W skip. Like, bro, what do you do, bro? Like, the Wu and Cho shit, Y'all been beefing for however long, bro. They know where y'all stay yet. They've been coming out with these indictments like fucking... I don't even know. They're coming out every two years. Like, y'all gotta do something different. The same shit's gonna, gonna keep happening over and over again. Like, y'all need to lock in and just... Take this shit somewhere else. Or just stop it entirely, bro. Like, I know motherfuckers die behind this shit. So I can't say you just stop. But it's like, bro. Y'all just gonna keep fucking... I don't know, bro. And Diamond's just gonna keep dropping, bro. The young generation's gonna keep doing it. But it's like, bro, they not stopping. They know where y'all hang out. They know where y'all be at. All that.